Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Nick. I am a stylist based here in Sydney, Australia. The purpose of my channel is to discuss all things fashion and help you build your personal style. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to get the Saint Laurent look, but on a budget. The one thing that I really like about this look is that it actually is extremely achievable to anybody. So if you've always admired Saint Laurent as a designer, but really don't have the money to invest in pieces, what I'm going to do is basically break down today the items that you would add to your wardrobe to give you that edgy, cool style. To break down the Saint Laurent aesthetic is it's edgy, it's 70s, bohemian, rock star, a little bit bougie, kind of heroin chic. It's basically all of that. The color palette is typically black, but they use different fabrics to contrast and make the look different. You will see accent colors within Saint Laurent's ranges, but the key thing is, is that they do typically have, it's almost like a formula to the clothes that they produce and the style that is their brand. As I mentioned before, there are key pieces within their range that you probably have in your wardrobe. So what I'm going to do today is break down what those pieces are, show you examples of them, basically how you can create this look for less. Also, one more thing before we get into the garments, a lot of this stuff I have here is stuff that I've pulled from my own wardrobe. I haven't shopped anything for this particular video but what I will do is in the description below I'll, I'll pop in some dupes or something similar to what I have here for you so that you can shop the look as well. The first item we're talking about today is a blazer. Saint Laurent are known for their smoking jacket. A smoking jacket essentially is a black tuxedo style blazer with satin lapels. This jacket is the signature piece that Saint Laurent does. So I thought a blazer would be the perfect place to start. The one that I have for you today is from, it's actually a vintage Emporio Armani one. Something that Saint Laurent does really well is that contrast of feminine masculine. They're really good at mixing and creating that contrast, which I love when it comes to styling, styling outfits. Next on the rack today is a leather jacket. A leather jacket is important in this particular capsule and there's a reason why. Not only is it something that they do season after season, it's also because Saint Laurent like to play with textures and different materials. If you have a look right throughout their website, you will see that, that they will do leather skirts, they'll do leather jackets. There's always an element of leather because there's a lot of black in their designs. They really do like to play with the with contrast, which if you're wearing an all black outfit is really important to have different materials so that you don't look completely boring or it doesn't just look like a flat outfit basically. So if you add texture, like leather, it changes an all black outfit or a monochrome outfit and makes it look a little bit more interesting. So that's why we've got a leather jacket. Next on the list is something that I was inspired to do recently when I was on net -a website. At the moment, my, my wish list, just with Saint Laurent alone on that website is just full because I'm really loving their stuff at the moment. That and my style has actually changed a little bit over the past nine months. And I think I'll touch on that in a video in the weeks to come. Anyway, I saw this pair of denim shorts. I'll pop them somewhere on the screen and fell in love with them. Rather than paying the 800 and something dollars for those shorts, which I contemplated doing, I decided because I have many pairs of black skinny jeans that I would take a pair, cut them and make them my own that way that when I've cut them, that they hit me at the right spot and they fit me perfectly. I don't have to worry about figuring out what's the best size for me because I've basically made them myself from a pair of pants that I already own. These are the shorts that I made. Obviously they're not Saint Laurent, but I thought that I'd get creative and make my own. They have a raw edge, which kind of brings in that rock and roll, tough, cool vibe that Saint Laurent exudes. A signature item of clothing from Saint Laurent is the black skinny jean. They're such a good jean. There's a reason why I'm such an advocate for it. First of all, they suit my body shape, so that's easy. Second is that they're so versatile. You can wear them with ballet flats, you can wear them with boots, with over the knee boots and tuck them in. Like, they're so versatile. And 
with this capsule, I've picked a pair that have ripped knees just to add that rock and roll edgy vibe to the capsule. Next on the list is a Saint Laurent staple, a little dress. Whether it's a little black dress, a little polka dot dress, a little sequin dress, a little dress that's got pops of colour, Saint Laurent do the little dress so impeccably. There's so many times that I've gone onto their website and just just been in awe of their little dresses because I'm a little dress lover. Now, with their more feminine pieces, they really do lean into that 70s era. We're talking blouse and sleeves, tie necks, high necks, flowy. Sometimes the dresses have structure, sometimes they don't, but they always have this feel of boho, but very chic vibes. This dress that I've picked for the little dress, it is this black kimono dress that I found at H&M for an absolute steal. I love kimono dresses because they they suit my, my body really well. I know instantly that if a dress is a kimono dress that it will work for me. I just think they're really chic. And it's not a silhouette that's overly common, that's why I like to go for them. And they have that boho vibe that I do typically like to wear every now and then. Just building on that feminine side of Saint Laurent is the feminine blouses that they do season after season. This one I've picked, it's a really old one from H&M and it doesn't get more bohemian than this. But once again, it has those details that you see in Saint Laurent blouses you've got that the high neck the blousy sleeves sticking to that monochrome palette you contrast this with a pair of skinny jeans and a pair of boots and you've got a real edgy yet sophisticated look another signature item in their collections is the t-shirt the thing i like about the black saint laurent t-shirt and i'll pop the one that i'm talking about on the screen even though it does say saint laurent on it it's not overly logomania Take, for example, a few years ago when it was Gucci Mania and everybody had that Gucci t-shirt. The thing I like about the Saint Laurent one is it's actually quite understated. You look at that t-shirt when you see somebody wearing it and you know that it's Saint Laurent. Obviously it says Saint Laurent, it's not the Saint Laurent logo. So it's subtle in comparison to other luxury t-shirts. With this collection, what I've done is rather than having that particular t-shirt, I've actually incorporated a band t-shirt. Now, if you're going to use a band tee in a capsule like this, my recommendation would be don't have something that is glaringly loud or aggressive. The whole point of this capsule is to keep it chic, keep it edgy, but keep it understated. There's a lot to be said when you can wear an edgy outfit without it being so obvious. You, you want it to be cool as opposed to trying too hard. This is why I picked this particular t-shirt. It's my Led Zeppelin t-shirt. Okay, first of all, let's 70s band, 70s inspired wardrobe, good fit. This, like the Saint Laurent one, we're sticking to black and monochrome colour palette. Also, even though this, this print is quite big, it's not full on and too much. So it ties in really nicely with the rest of the wardrobe and still provides that 70s rock chic look that you're after. The final item that I'm going to show you from the clothing part of this capsule is a lingerie style singlet or a slip singlet. This one New acquisition from H&M, pretty self-explanatory. If you're looking to add a feminine edge to a wardrobe, we're talking about playing with textures and materials. So you've got the lace as well. It's very rock chic, and that's the type of item that you really would want to add to your wardrobe if this is the aesthetic that you're going for. Saint Laurent accessories. This is probably my favorite topic at the moment, is discussing Saint Laurent handbags and accessories. They're gorgeous. The accessories range at Saint Laurent is a prime example of how they use different materials and textures to make black look different. It's almost like black's a way of life at Saint Laurent, it's just the best. So you've got suede, patent leather, croc effect leather, there's different like material, just standard leather, but different grains of leather, like there's so many different materials that they use to make their accessories which is something I really like and it really does help when you're sticking to say a monochrome palette 
or wearing an all-black outfit, having accessories that have those different textures really do create contrast in the outfit that you're wearing and also a little bit of interest too. So I picked this black belt with gold hardware here. The reason being is that what I've found with Saint Laurent is that they do hardware in gold, silver and matte black but I do feel from what I've seen it is predominantly gold hardware which I kind of love. So that's why I picked that belt. Let's talk shoes. I've got three examples of shoes that you would add to a capsule to make the looks edgy. Saint Laurent do killer, killer heels and it's hard not to fall in love with every pair that you see. But once again, they use different materials to make their shoes different. Now, the example that I've got today are these pair of strappy heels. You do see a lot of strappy heels within their collection. This is from Senso, just a pair that I bought a while back. The reason why I've chosen these ones is that, that croc effect leather. Once again, adding that to an all black outfit really does change the look and feel and interest into what you're wearing. Another style of heel that Saint Laurent are famous for is the pointed toe. I've got these ones, they're just old seed heritage ones, but I've picked these today not only for the style but for the material. Black suede, something that you'll see quite a bit in their collections. I know suede can be a difficult material to have in your wardrobe and you do have to be really careful not to get it wet. The thing I like about black suede shoes is that when you get a good pair of black suede shoes, they can be a really deep, dark black, which I really like. Once again, using the material to break up the outfits and add some contrast. The last item I'm going to show you today is a classic Saint Laurent style shoe, but it's also a Bohemian classic and a 70s classic as well as a rock and roll edgy classic. So this style of shoe basically is Saint Laurent. In the shoe. It is the black western boot. These ones I've picked just because once again you've got that snake effect texture, adding contrast to black outfits, making it look interesting. That's it, I hope you like this video. If you're new here and you liked my vibe and you enjoyed my content, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here in this tiny little style community and really welcome you to join the journey. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do a how to get a designer look for less. I'm considering doing Anita Bing and Wardrobe NYC. Also, I've already done Isabel Morant. That's another designer that actually, in a different way, plays up the Parisian French 70s vibe and then mixes it with edge so definitely check that video out if that's something that you'd be interested in looking at and i'll see you again next time bye